it's time to talk about inflammation and how it's holding you back and how nobody really wants to talk about it. I mean, we hear about it from time to time on blogs, we hear about it on the internet, but we don't really get down to what exactly inflammation is and how it's keeping you from living the best possible life. And there's so much science out there that's backing up how bad inflammation is, but nobody's putting it in front of us. And the biggest reason is because food lobbyists and big agriculture don't want us to know how bad inflammation is, and they don't want us to know what causes it, because then they wouldn't be making money. But the fact is, it's hurting us, it's hurting our weight loss, it's hurting us with disease, and it's flat out making it so we don't feel like ourselves anymore. But before I go a whole lot further, let me tell you a little bit on my story really quick and why you should hear me out on this. I was 280 pounds working a corporate healthcare job. I was borderline diabetic, I had acid reflux, I was hypertensive, and my liver enzymes were through the roof. But the worst of all of it is I felt like total garbage because I used to be an athlete and here I was sitting at a desk job weighing 280 pounds thinking that I was doing all the right things thinking I was eating all the right foods, but not being able to lose a pound and not being able to kick my ailments. I was in the healthcare industry, so I was immersed in so much science. So it finally occurred to me one day that I need to dive in to studying inflammation. So I took my resources within the healthcare industry and I started looking at inflammation. I started looking about how it worked within the body. And I started realizing that simply inflammation on its own could be what was holding me back. And I started addressing things and I ultimately found that there was one food that I was eating a lot of that was triggering an immune response within my body, making it hard for me to ultimately lose weight. So I fixed that issue and the weight did really start to fall off. I mean, it wasn't the be all end all, but it definitely was what kickstarted me down the right path. I'll get into more of that in just a moment, but I wanna talk about how genetically modified foods and how pesticides, preservatives, and other foods that we are eating so much of are actually making it so that we can't lose weight and causing dramatic amounts of inflammation. So I wanna dive into what exactly inflammation is. Inflammation is just like when you get stung by a bee. So let's say you get stung by a bee on your arm. It gets red, it gets swollen, and it becomes inflamed. Well, that's something called acute inflammation. And that happens usually abruptly and on the skin. But the thing is, is that happens inside your body too, and it's called chronic inflammation. And it's the swelling, it's the inflammation, it's the immune response that happens within your body. And the way that it happens is there's an enzyme in your body called cyclooxygenase enzyme 1, COX enzyme 1. And that enzyme triggers the release of something that are called prostaglandins. Those prostaglandins spark inflammation throughout the entire body. Basically, those prostaglandins put your body on high alert and they say, hey, there's an invader, we need inflammation to protect ourselves. So that's what happens. And to make it a little bit clearer with what COX enzyme one is, when you take an aspirin or when you take an ibuprofen, those pills directly inhibit COX one to reduce inflammation. That's why they're called anti-inflammatories. So you can imagine that if you're eating foods that are stimulating that enzyme, stimulating the COX one enzyme, it's doing the opposite of what an aspirin or an ibuprofen would do. It's causing inflammation. And what happens when your body has inflammation in it is your intestinal tract can become inflamed, which means you're not absorbing nutrients, which means that your joints are swollen on the inside, causing you pain, which means that literally your brain can be swelling, making it so that you have brain fog and you can't think clearly. But for the sake of weight loss, especially in my particular case, my intestinal tract was inflamed. I wasn't absorbing nutrients. So it was like I was going into starvation mode. My body was saying, hey, you're not getting calories, so we need to put you in starvation mode and start storing fat, even though I wasn't eating that much, even though I was eating the right foods. So it's pretty crazy. Once those cortisol levels go up and you start storing body fat, it's just a downhill spiral, and you have to reverse that. And what happens is when you eat the same food over and over and over again, even if it's healthy, your body starts to respond that way by saying, hey, why do we have this food constantly coming in? It must be bad. So it raises a red flag and it triggers inflammation. But here's the thing, with things like genetically modified foods, the foods that we eat so much of that the food lobbyists and big agriculture don't want us to know are bad, our bodies don't recognize what they are. They see them come in and they say, this is a foreign invader. This is something that is wreaking havoc on the body because the body doesn't know what it is. So what does it do? 
boom, it shoots up the red flag again. It causes the inflammation to protect you. Your body is just trying to protect you. So it's really not your fault at all. Nobody is telling us what's going on. We're just stuck to eat the same foods over and over again and expecting a different result. The more I think about it, the more upset I get, but it's almost like I think about the tobacco industry back in the 50s and 60s. You know, tobacco lobbyists, they just push tobacco constantly and nobody thought it was bad. And then here we are, decades later, we know that tobacco causes cancer. Well, the same thing I can almost guarantee is gonna happen in 10 or 15 years with genetically modified foods and all the foods that we're eating that we think are good for us, but they're bad. We're gonna find out 15 years down the road that we're gonna come down with all kinds of things. And the only thing that we can do is protect ourselves. We can't sit here and we can't expect anyone else to really help us. We have to take control of ourselves. And the only way that we can really do that is to reset our bodies and understand which foods cause inflammation for us as individuals. And that's just the thing. It's not one secret food, but it might be one secret food for you. One food that you've been eating a lot of that's causing this inflammation. One food, again, that you thought was healthy, that the big industry is telling you is healthy, but is really not. So I've created the seven day reboot that allows you to reduce a dramatic amount of inflammation in just seven days. And it's not the be all end all again, but it is going to reduce inflammation enough so that you can start absorbing your nutrients again and you can start getting on the path to what you really want to be and start feeling alive again. But honestly, you don't have to take my word for it. I want to read you a couple testimonials that honestly just really struck me emotionally. On Monday, January 11th, 2016, day one, I weighed 287.6. Your seven day protocol, which includes your three day cleanse and semi fast. And so it began. I began that Monday, January 11th with my weight at 287.6. On day three, Wednesday, January 14th, 2016, I had dropped at 283.5. I was excited, guardedly so, but excited. Yesterday, day six, no weighing as per your suggestion. I tried on the board shorts I will be proudly wearing on soon again, which is the before picture. I couldn't believe the difference. Drum roll, please. This morning, the morning of day seven, I approached the bathroom scale, which had failed me along with countless, as I said before, gimmick weight loss themes that I'd tried numerous times in dollars before. I cautiously stepped on the scale, shut my eyes and held my breath. The moment of truth had arrived for me and for Thomas Andrew DeLauer and I'm typing this with tears streaming down my face. 275.4. Thank you, Thomas Andrew DeLauer. I'm pretty sure you, your wonderful story, and your testimony have saved my life. I will share your story and all it entails with the world. I am beyond excited and cannot wait to continue my journey with you by my side. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless. And that's just some of the tens of thousands of people that have had amazing results by just rebooting their body within seven days. And again, this isn't a weight loss gimmick. I'm not saying you're gonna become the perfect person in seven days, but it's gonna give you what you need to get started down the right path. And you've got my story where I lost 100 pounds in about a year and a half, transformed my life by rebooting my body. And then we've got my wife, my wife who I haven't talked too much about in this story, but my wife suffering from Lyme disease, an autoimmune disorder, suffering from Hashimoto, an immune disease that affects her thyroid and makes it hard for her to lose weight. Seeing that implementing the right foods at the right time was able to make her beat that and feel like herself again. A woman that I've been with for 12 years and I've watched suffer, see her come back to feeling like herself. That is why I created this because I know that I can do that for other people and I know that it works. And I know that we're being lied to and I know that we don't have all the information that we really need, but we can take it in our hands and we can do this and we can reboot our bodies and we can fight back by taking control. So for just a few dollars a day for seven days, you can reboot your body. That's literally the cost of something from the value menu every day for seven days. And honestly, there's no risk. If you don't like it, you get a refund. We'll give you your money back. Zero questions asked. No problem. I'm that confident in it. So do yourself a favor and click on the link below. 
and get started. It doesn't matter what your goal is, whether you need to lose weight, reduce pain, get rid of some ailments, start reversing disease, reducing inflammation is critical for everybody because we don't wanna be a statistic 15 or 20 years down the road. So click on the link below. I'll see you on the next page.